Hey everyone, welcome back to Hayes Kitchen. It is the most beautiful spring day today. Sunshine is bellowing through the kitchen. We've got blue skies and it almost feels like we're gonna get a little bit of summer. Although we're not gonna have that for about four months and we usually get about a day and that's it. So what am I gonna be cooking today? I am going to be doing some purple sprouted broccoli. I'm gonna roast that off with a balsamic glaze with some shallots, a little bit of crumbled feta over the top, some cherry tomatoes and some rosemary and some rosemary flowers. Now I'm gonna roast that off in the oven and it is gonna be the most beautiful spring style dish. First up, you wanna grab yourself a baking tin, something like that, and get it in the oven so it gets nice and hot. Get your oven up to about 200 Celsius if possible, and into a pan, we're gonna be putting our shallots. So, so I've got some beautiful little shallots. I've got about 300 grams of these. And we're gonna try and keep these relatively large chunks. So you wanna get your pan nice and warm, and into that, you've got your 300 grams of shallots and a little bit of rapeseed oil. Your shallots can go straight in there. You can see how rustic they are. Keep them virtually whole, because that way when they sweat down, you're gonna get lovely glazed lumps when you cut into the tart. So they're getting nice and hot. Now we've got our long stem purple broccoli. They can just go in whole as well. You know, you're looking for the onions just to get a little bit of brown coloring to it. You see like that? You're then gonna add a little bit of your balsamic glaze. So we have got three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. We've got one and a half tablespoons of balsamic glaze and a little splash of white wine. So you're looking for that vinegar to start thickening up and glaze down. You're going to add that to a pan and pop that into your oven for about 20 minutes. So while that's roasting off, we've got our hot pan out of the oven and we've got our short crust pastry. Now, if you want to know how to make spelt pastry, pop along to my website, www.hastekitchen.com and it'll give you the full ingredients and breakdown on how to make this. It's really simple anyway. So our vegetables have been roasting off for about 20 minutes. Let's get them out of the oven. Now you can see there, they've got a caramelized glaze all over them. Into the middle of our little pan here, just gonna lay that down, as rustic as you like. Some of your onions in there as well. Make sure you get all that sticky glaze out of there. So we're gonna fold over our pastry. Nice and rustic, just gonna literally flop that over to the sides, like that, flop it over the top again, and flop it over again, and again. So we're making ourselves like a little plate. Now, into that, I'm gonna go in with a couple of our cherry tomatoes. So 200 grams of feta going over the top. So it's looking beautiful and really rustic, and I love that sort of easy cooking. You know, it doesn't take long to make these things, but it's gonna be packed full of flavor. Now I've got a few little rosemary flowers here with these to take off the little brown sections and just pop them around. And then we've got a couple of sprigs of rosemary. Just gonna drag your hand down the back of the sprig and just gonna sprinkle that over the top. And now with a little bit of milk, we're just gonna lightly brush all around that crust. Now, that can go back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes until you get a lovely golden crust. Oh, how good does that look? Huh? How good does that look? So to finish that off, we're just gonna pop a few of our beautiful rosemary flowers just over the top, just to give it a little bit of color and a little extra bursts of flavor. So this is what I mean about using seasonable veg. You know, it's March time, it's spring, you've got spring greens coming out, you've got sprouting broccoli. It's the perfect time to be using these type of vegetables. Try and shop seasonal if you can. So there we go, there is my beautiful rosemary balsamic glazed tart. Let's just try a little bit of that feta, a little bit of the broccoli. We've got that sweetness going through there from the balsamic and the onions. And then you've got the feta, give it that lovely sort of like strength kick to it. So there we go, it's my springtime balsamic glazed shallot, broccoli and feta tart. If you like this one, please hashtag me at Hayes Kitchen as always. Tell everyone about the channel. Please subscribe and I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye bye.